This is a fuel pump assembly off a 1972 Mercedes-Benz 280SC 4.5. It was a type of pump and filter assembly that was used on those early fuel injected D-Jetronic. This is electronic fuel injected cars from the early 70s up to about 1976. Now this fuel pump right here is unique to the K-Jetronic fuel injection system. It has a very interesting design. There are three seals in here that seal the pump from fuel leaks and these are very prone to leaking. Okay, this is what the pump looks like. I did a video and I sourced two seals to repair leaks in these pumps, but what I'm finding is even though you replace these two seals right here, there's a third seal down inside the pump. The pump runs wet, the motor runs wet with fuel, so there's fuel down in here. And in order to get to that third seal, you have to uncrimp this pump and the odds of you getting it back together with the proper crimps and proper pressure against the seal are probably 20%. That's what other people have said, and I just am done with these pumps. So today, I go out to my 300 SEL 4.5 thinking about maybe I should do a video and come up with some solution to replace this pump. And look what I found. So right away, when I got under the car, I noticed this uh, large spot on the concrete. Now that's probably dried fuel, so this thing's leaking when it's running. Now I'm going to try to get down here and get some light on this pump so you can see where it's leaking or has been leaking. So you can see the wetness around the bottom of the pump there. Uh, the filter, you know, the hoses uh, aren't too bad, but but let's take a look at the bottom of the pump. I think you can see it's been dripping right out of that area we talked about earlier. Yeah, sure enough, this is what I've seen before. See the wetness there? And it's leaking right out of that seam. So, <laughs> we got another one, another old D-Jetronic fuel pump that's failed. So now, not only do I need to either repair or replace the leaking fuel pump in my own 300 SEL 4.5, I've got to do it in my friend's 300 SEL 4.5. And as I said earlier in the video, I'm done with these pumps. I'm done with messing with them. I'm done with trying to open them up and reseal them. It's nice to have the original pump, but sure enough, like my friend, you'll go out to the garage one day and it'll be dripping fuel right out of here. So what's the alternative? These pumps right here, like you see, are no longer available. You cannot buy these new. Most people have opted to try to use one of these pumps out of the newer K-Jetronic cars, 1976 up to 1985, like 450 SE, 450 SL, 380SL. These pumps will work. You know, you can see you're going to have some adapting problems. The pump's longer, the, the fittings are different, the hose sizes are different, and you've got to get a banjo fitting here. So it's a little bit of a hassle because you generally have to get new hoses. Look at this one. Look at how bad that hose is. One of the problems with these K-Jet pumps like you see here is they tend to run a little bit high on the pressure. Uh, these were a low-pressure pump. So I wanted to source a pump that had lower pressure. And if I was fortunate enough, I could find a newer style pump that maybe had a direct connection for this hose. So I didn't have to have an adapter to go to it from a smaller size fuel hose up to this larger fuel hose. So lo and behold, look what I found. This pump is from a different manufacturer, but also used on the K-Jetronic fuel injection system. Look at that, right off the bat. <laughs> look at the, uh, the size of the hose coming from the fuel tank. No modification required. The pump is shorter, so it's going to be easier to adapt the hoses. This is the outlet hose to the filter. You can see here on this particular pump assembly, the hose comes out of the old pump and goes right up into the inlet to the filter. And of course, this is the outlet off to the engine. I can mount this and get the alignment right and then install new fuel hose coming from the filter down to the pump. And I should be able to get some really good alignment without having to put any stress or weird bends in this hose right here. 
So I think I'm on track to get this problem solved. With this pump here as opposed to this pump here, I'm well on my way to coming up with a really good solution for a replacement pump on these old V8s. So here is what most of them look like, and here is what the one in the 4.5 looked like before I began to make the conversion, and now you can see the converted assembly with the newer style fuel pump and new filter, and I even detail it out. So this is what you'll get with my kit. You'll get everything you need, including lengthy video instructions on how to build an assembly like this for your own early DJetronic V8. Well, you'll have to admit this sure looks a lot better than when I started on this 4.5. I mean, I've got everything hooked up. I've double checked all my hose clamps. Now, this is very important. I'm not going to just jump in this car and drive down the road. The first thing I'm going to do is lower it down. If you're working on car ramps or whatever, leave it up and start it up and make sure there's no fuel leaks because it's pretty easy to forget something. You know, when you're working on this, you might forget to put a final torque on a clamp. We're human, all right? And this is dangerous to have fuel leaks back here. So even if it's looking okay and not leaking, go ahead and drive it around the block a few times and come back and double check to make sure there's no fuel leaks on this new assembly. And then you can go off and head off down the road. Now you can see it starts right up. And I actually believe that this engine is running better. It's running smoother with this new pump. But the big thing I'm noticing is there's less exhaust fumes. Apparently not quite as rich a mixture coming out the tailpipe. This thing used to just literally smoke me out of the shop before I changed the pump. So I'm really happy. Maybe after some road tests, I'll report back and give you an update on the performance of this new pump.